a lot of new moms out there or women out there who are currently pregnant or you are currently about to have a baby and you're probably panicking because you don't know what to purchase for your newborn. Yeah, I think I have a pretty little bit of experience as a new mom. So I'm going to just be telling you guys some of the baby must-haves that I use and some of the newborn essentials that you are going to need for your newborn baby. So with that being said, go ahead and get a notebook and pen out or get your Amazon ready to add some things to your carts and let's hop right into this video. Baby item must-have number one is going to be onesies. This is actually not a newborn onesie, it's a six month onesie, but you guys get the point. This is just a plain white onesie. They have them in short sleeves. I would recommend you get a bunch of white ones. Um, get neutral colors, so this is a white short sleeve one. And then you can get a fun one, maybe like a black one. Um, this one says milk, naps, cuddles, and repeat, and I actually got this one from Kohl's. This is one of Zahara's newborn baby onesies. Then you have your tank top onesies. So this one is very, very cute. It has um, like a little flamingos on it and then it has like the little ruffles gives it some spice some personality to the onesie and it's a tank top and you want to buy your onesies so whenever your baby's going to be born you want to buy onesies for whatever season that your baby is going to be born if you're having your baby in june you definitely want to pick up a bunch of maybe like onesies like this or short sleeve onesies and then maybe if you're somebody who's having your baby in the winter time cop your baby maybe like a quarter sleeve or long sleeve onesie and then i have this one in gray and it has polka dots on it and this has a really really cute print on it it's just flowery and it's long sleeve i had her in november so this is like the perfect little onesie for her to have next is going to be socks i got these little fuzzy socks from target um i like them because they're just a solid plain white sock and they're really comfy and she can just throw them on so you definitely want to cop you some socks like I said, I got these ones from Target, and they also have really cute, like, decorative socks, um, ones that look like the babies have on shoes and things like that, but definitely you want to make sure you're going to have some socks. So the next newborn essential, number three, is going to be mittens. Make sure you guys buy solid colors so that you can match it up with, like, cute little outfits. I forgot when I first had Zahara I bought a lot of like pink stuff and like different color stuff and I never thought to get like neutral colors so I ended up going back and getting her just some white plain mittens and then I also got these gray and white ones the striped gray and white ones they look like this and I also got a striped black and white pair as well so number four is going to be newborn hats now in the hospital they're going to give you hats that are going to fit perfectly on your newborn's head but you're not going to want to keep those hats on her once she you know gets home um, or just in general you're going to want to get rid of the hospital hats so make sure you get some really small newborn hats most of the time they might not be small enough zahara had to keep her hospital hat on for the first like week because she was so small but yeah definitely just try to find the smallest hats that you can like this was like one of her smaller hats this is the hat that she wore home but it drowned her a lot it was this nike hat and went with her nike outfit so yeah make sure you just cop some type of hats if you have to get like preemie hats or something of that sort definitely do that so newborn essential number five is going to be some washcloths and bath towels this is a super super cute bath towel it has a lot of personality to it it's just a gray neutral color and it has an elephant on it and you definitely are going to want a bunch of washcloths i got this one in a pack these come in like a bunch they have like thinner ones and thicker ones so i love these to like wash her face and then the thicker ones are more so for like all over the body which i love and these ones are by burt b so i will link these down in the description box below everything that i talk about in this video i'll try to link and find similar things or link it in the description box below and her auntie jam actually bought her these washcloths so number six you're gonna want to make sure you get her her grooming things and like things for like her health wise of course you're gonna want to make sure she looks pretty or he pretty or handsome so you're definitely gonna want to cop a comb and a 
brush and then you're also gonna want some clippers because babies nails they're really really sharp and they tend to like to scratch on their faces and Zahara loves to scratch on her legs a lot so you have to make sure that you're clipping their nails as well as their toenails because Zahara likes to just scratch me her feet on me now so yeah definitely make sure that you have these on hand so that you can clip their, their nails when they're asleep and then you also want to get some type of nasal aspirator this is for their nose to get all their like little boogers and things out though so, yeah definitely top you one of these you also want to make sure you just get some this is just in general because babies catch fevers when they're teething and things like that they just babies are just very vulnerable to like viruses and things like that so you definitely want to make sure you just get some type of thermometer and we just got this one from family care it's just a little thermometer that we can put under her arm get this and have these as soon as you leave the hospital as well so essential number eight is going to be your like it's like a literally like a month like you it's gonna be your holy grail this is gonna be your holy grail product for your baby and it is the mommy bliss bright water nighttime you guys i this is a small bottle my mom went and bought like a little small bottle but i already went through two big bottles and then i've already just went through this small bottle so i have to go buy the um i think they have like an eight fluid ounce or something or maybe like a six fluid i don't know what ounce it is but i'll link it in the amazon below but this one is just a two fluid ounce do not get a two fluid ounce get a big bottle you guys because you're going to need it basically it helps with gas colic fussiness and number one is hiccups I use this for zahara's hiccups and her hiccups instantly went away when i would use this so definitely cop you a bottle of gripe water because i know a lot of people don't know that gripe water basically immediately gets rid of their hiccups it also comes with an adapter plug cop you some gripe water get you about two or three bottles so the number nine essential is a bassinet it is said that you don't want to co-sleep with your baby your newborn anything can happen you or your partner can roll over on your baby you just want to be on the safe side and try to put your baby down in a bassinet you can also use a bassinet for nap time and during the day so the one that i have is the ingenuity <laughs> dream and grow bassinet i think that's how you say it and mine was 129 i actually got it at my baby shower i love it because it actually as she gets bigger it tucks down into like a little playpen and then you can bring it back up to it be like a little bassinet and it's actually bedside and what i love about it is you can put a mobile on it it doesn't come with a mobile but you can buy a mobile to click onto it it has like a little night light you can play music and you have like little pockets where you can put like your diapers your wipes and all like your essentials right there because during the nighttime you're going to be up back and forth back and forth like up you don't want to be having to look for things you can just have everything that you need for your like diaper change changes and like just things that the baby uses all the time right in there and you know where everything is at so that i absolutely love so yeah i'm going to link my bassinet down in the description box below as well also you're gonna want to make sure you get some type of sheet covers with those as well so essential number 10 is going to be receiving blankets now i have these really cute blankets that i got i forgot where i got these at exactly but these ones are like a little bit smaller i couldn't really like wrap her up in them and like swaddle her in them so these are more so really just for like if i'm like passing her or receiving her and then you want to just make sure that you get some receiving blankets because most of the time your newborn is going to be swaddled and you want to make sure you have receiving blankets that are big enough for him or her to be swaddled in basically like the swaddling method just makes them feel like they're in the womb so you want to make sure you get plenty of receiving blankets those are like one of the top things that you're going to need and then of course you also want to get some type Type of nice fluffy blankets this one is from carter's it says little and loved on it somebody actually gifted me this one is nice and soft of course you want your baby to feel nice and comfy just like we like to wrap up in our flow throw blankets our nice fluffy throw blankets our babies love that as well and then she has this cute little purple one just be careful with like putting your blankets in your bassinets and stuff like that you don't really want to do that because your baby can suffocate so but definitely get them for like when they're like playing around chilling with you and things like that those are nice. So number 12, you're going to want some type of hoodie pajamas. These are the ones that I got. These I love. And this, I love this color. So these are from Carter. These ones have like a zipper on them. And I just feel like zipper hoodie pajamas are easier to use at night when you're like changing your baby. So I love putting her those on. And these ones actually have like little mittens on the arms. I would add a lot of hoodie pajamas to your registry 
accessory because you're just going to need them. Number 13, I would also recommend you to get some type of gowns. I got these ones from Carter's. These are newborn gowns. This one is really cute. It has like that leopard um, feel on it and they cinch um, at like the ankles. So that way it's kind of like a little sack and they have the mittens on them as well. So I got a pack of two for $17. This is a cute little gray one with gold hearts and it has the mittens on it as well. So get you some little newborn gowns. I ended up, I got the gowns too just to like switch up. But for number 13, you can get some sleep sacks, which I actually preferred the sleep sacks over the gowns. But you can try out um, both of them and see which ones like your baby likes. So I got this Betsy Johnson sleep sack. It looks like this. It has like a cool floor print on it. Zahara actually has two little cute Betsy Johnson sleep sacks. They zip and these are really good for diaper changes as well. You can put her like a nice cool onesie on underneath it and her arms, his or her arms can be out. And yeah, their feet can be free, but they still are kind of like covered up. And it'll keep them like, like basically feeling like again, they're in the womb. So I got this one, I believe this one is from Bill's Outlet. I'm not sure if one of one of the two are Burlington Coat Factory. So essential number 14 is going to be bottles. I use the Como Tomo bottles for my baby, but they have all different types of bottles. I actually tried out another set of bottles. Um, I'll link them down below as well. But these were the ones that my baby likes. If you are a breastfeeding mom, I would definitely, or you're gonna try breastfeeding, I would definitely recommend the Como Tomos because because the, yeah, the nipples are shaped exactly like your like breast nipple. So I got the pack of twos. I actually ordered, I think like two or three packs of these, the five fluid ounces pack. And I got the pink ones. They actually have them in green as well, but you can get these on Amazon. And then I got two, two packs of eight fluid ounces. So I bought two packs of these. This is actually a brand new pack that I haven't used yet. Cause Zahara still nurses. So, so these are the five fluid ounces and this one has her apple juice in it. And then these are the eight fluid ounces and they're two different sizes. So definitely get you some bottles. Even if you're going to be breastfeeding, you still wanna definitely get you some bottles on hand to swap in and out. But I guess that would basically be your decision if you decide on like going in between pumping and breastfeeding. So number 15 is going to be the grass lawn bottle holder. This is good to hold your bottle in I remember I did not buy one of these I didn't have anything and I was like using paper towel to like put my bottles on I didn't have like a drying rack so I put all her bottles and everything I sterilized them and everything and put them right on the rack and it's just sitting right on our kitchen counter number 16 speaking of bottle sterilizer you want to get some type of bottle sterilizer and bottle warmer I have a two-in-one um, bottle sterilizer and bottle warmer that I purchased off of Amazon I absolutely love it it's just so quick and so easy to use the only thing that I don't like about it is that I can only do like maybe like two bottles at a time so I do like to use my pot sometimes like the regular like water pot boiling back in the day old school type sterilizing but this thing is still great um if you just want to quickly like do one bottle sterilize it real quick it has like timers and setting on it showing you how to steam the bottles and then showing you how to like sterilize the bottles as well so definitely we're recommend the two in one i absolutely love this essential number 17 is going to be the boppy pillow now this is the knockoff version of the boppy pillow i can't remember exactly where she got this from but they have a knockoff so i didn't get she got me this for christmas they have plenty of these it's just a nursing pillow this is great for breastfeeding and just sitting your baby up on when they're watching things as well i can lay her right on this pillow and she's just a little more comfortable and plopped up and it's just comfortable for the both of us I don't have to like hold her on my like arm where like my you know my forearm is at she can just be a little bit more comfortable and now this one is more optional but I actually use this a lot when she was a newborn I still use it to this day and it is the boppy lounger pillow I got the princess one you can actually lay these on the floor or lay these like on top of your bed and if she's like watching her cartoons or just lounging um you don't want them to sleep in this but if your baby's just lounging around you can set them in this and and take cute pictures and it has like a little handle on it as well so it's definitely travel friendly number 18 is going to be a growth block we all want to take those cute little pictures and like track the growth of our newborns and our babies I ended up picking up these growth blocks on Amazon and they have the months the weeks 
the years, the grade on them, if she's all the way up until she's in like, what, 12th grade? And you can put the zero if you want to in front of it or whatever, but I just put five months and I've been using these to take her pictures on Instagram. Zahara actually has an Instagram, so if you guys wanna check her out on Instagram, her Instagram is zahara.onita, so you guys should definitely check her out on there and follow her. I just love using these for pictures and just capturing her memories and tracking her growth. Number 19, you're going to need a bunch of these and these are birth cloths. I just have a bunch of these little birth cloths that I love. They easily just go right over your shoulder. You all, always just wanna keep one on your shoulder, um, especially when you're carrying your baby around because they will spit right up on you and you will have a ruined shirt. You guys can get these very inexpensive. These are another one of the things that you guys should star, star on your notes to put on your baby registry because you're going to need a lot of these just like just as much as you're gonna need a lot of footy pajamas number 20 is a baby bathtub my mom got Zahara this cute little pink bathtub um, and it's just a really really cute and pink I love it it's a Minnie Mouse bathtub and it's been working pretty well for Zahara since she was a newborn so essential number 21 is going to be teething toys and actually one of my subscribers bought me this uh, teething toy. Her name is Charlene. And she said, hi, my name is Charlene. I've been watching your vlogs and love how creative you are. I would like to send you a little gift for your beautiful baby girl sending love all the way from the UK. So she bought me these newbie ice gel baby teething teether keys. And they're so freaking cute, love these. So definitely want to cop you some type of teething keys or teething like toys because your baby is going to be teething. So thank you Charlene for these all the way from the UK, woo woo. So next is a car seat. When your baby's a newborn, you wanna just get a simple car seat because they're gonna outgrow it. So you don't wanna really splurge on anything too expensive because like I said, your baby's gonna end up outgrowing the car seat. So I just have this simple uh, ebb and flow pivot car seat um, but yeah it's just this basic car seat I just have the this basic car seat from Walmart for like 22 bucks which is like a steal so definitely check your guys's Walmart's um, because sometimes they like mark down baby items I don't know it was just like a time where they mark down a bunch of baby items so definitely check out like Walmart $22 you can't beat that for car seat and it's been doing so hard well but now I'm getting ready to purchase her a stroller um, and I'm gonna get a stroller that has like a car seat connected to it um, and I think it's gonna be another ebb and flow one I don't know yet I haven't decided but yeah definitely make sure you get you a car seat number 23 is going to be a fruit feeder and this is another teething item as well I got the nature bond baby fruit feeder it's the peach pink and lemonade yellow basically I have a tiktok if you guys don't follow me on tiktok what are you guys doing because I love doing like little cute little tiktok videos but basically you have this little it looks like a little pacifier you open it up it has like a little cap and then um this has like a little like it has holes in the pacifier nipple and they have like these little silicone little pacifiers that you actually can interchange out of the nipple make them smaller make them bigger whatever you open it up you put whatever fruit that you want inside the pacifier close it and then your baby can actually like suck on it and teething it's better to put like frozen foods in here so that way like the 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 coldness feels good on their teeth and the fruit is going through the um, little pacifier silicone nipple thing so I really love this thing Zahara loves it it helps with her teeth a lot and it's like a two-in-one because your baby gets to enjoy the fruit and it's healthy and she also gets to help with her him or her gets to help with their teeth y'all Facebook made me buy this I seen a lot of like Facebook videos and I was like, I'm getting that for Zahara because I'm like, these babies look like they're enjoying this. So I was like, I'm going to get this for my baby. So yes, try out the Nature Bonds uh, fruit feeder. I'm going to link it in the description box. It'll be linked as well. Another essential number 24 for your baby that you will want to cop is a baby jumper. Like I would say like three months, you can start looking into like a baby jumper. I got Zahara the baby Einstein explorer jumper and she absolutely loves it. The only thing about this jumper is it does it is overstimulating like it does it does overstimulate her which like when she bounces like she gets 
like she does get tired um, and sometimes she falls asleep in her jumper but overall like the jumper is absolutely amazing i love it it was very inexpensive and yeah zahara enjoys her jumper a lot and she likes to play in it and watch her cartoons it was just like another toy for me to get her that can help me to get things done as well because she's like entertained number 25 is going to be a baby carrier so like if you're somebody who knows you're going to need to get a lot of things done most of us are it's gonna like change your whole life because once you have a baby like they're they really need your attention especially newborns it can be kind of frustrating don't feel bad to be a little bit frustrated it can be kind of frustrating because you realize that you can't get anything done like your whole day is kind of like gone because you know you have to like hold your baby all day you can't really get anything done you can't be hands-free i discovered a small business in canada who makes baby carriers and they're called beluga baby and i absolutely love the beluga baby carriers so it just looks like this i got the heather gray one and it says beluga baby on the front i've actually shown you guys pictures of me um wearing this carrier before but they have lots of videos showing you how to tie up the beluga baby but this thing saved my life you guys because you guys know i'm an entrepreneur i do youtube there's things that i have to get done and just things that i have to get done for myself like just something as simple as brushing my teeth or washing my face so this thing helps out a lot and what i love about this is if you're small like me you can adjust it to your size it's one size fits all so like i said you can adjust it because i noticed like some of the other carriers like they were too big like my mom bought me one from walmart it was too big and sahara was like falling out of it it was just not right but the beluga baby is everything number 26 is a baby swing oh my goodness so newborns like this is the first item that i purchased for zahara for like entertainment purposes i guess you would say and again something else that helped me out a lot to get things done during the day and that was my grayso sway swing i believe that's what it's called this was like one of the top recommended items on amazon so i was like i'm getting it and i love how now like you can like order all your products and they like come straight to your doorstep like off amazon it's crazy it has five notches six notches i believe six or seven and you can turn it up i never turn it up that high i usually do like three or four and then it has like nature sounds water sounds like stuff that sounds like she's in the womb and then they have like some little lullabies and little music on there this thing i noticed when zahara was a newborn put her straight to sleep so she still uses her swing now she likes her bouncer a little bit more but the swing definitely for newborn newborns like coming out the womb newborn definitely you want to make sure you get one of these this is like one of the top products that you should get so number 26 i am going to recommend you guys some type of a black and white card so i have these ones and these are just good because babies can't see color when they come when they first come out like within the first week they don't really see anything so these are really good and these are just good for your newborn babies like zero like one month babies this is what this looks like these are just little cards that you can put in this little slot when you turn it around they have more on the back as well and i also have another one that i got out of my love every box because this is from love every that actually goes on the back of one of your seats in the car so when your baby is riding in the car they can actually look at it so i when i first had zahara i got sent a box from love every and i actually posted this on my instagram so if you're not watching me on, i mean if you're not following me on instagram you didn't see that i have received this box and showed you guys like a little snippet of the box but yeah this is the one that goes on the back of the car seat this is the love every's lookers play kit and it just has a bunch of things designed in here for your baby's development so essential number 28 is like a no-brainer <laughs> it is a diaper bag and this is my diaper bag watching the cartoon Zahara. So this is the Betsy Johnson diaper bag. You can probably find it somewhere like Bol Burlington Co Factory. I found mine on eBay. So definitely get you a nice size diaper bag. I have multiple diaper bags. I have this one, another one. My mom bought one for herself. Um, and then I have this one that was gifted to me as well. I love this diaper bag. This one is just like a cute black diaper bag. It's a little bit smaller than this one. This one is really cute too. It actually turns into a bassinet. I took this one to the park when we went the other day. And so yeah, this is good for like if you're going to the park or something like that, you can spread it out. Yeah, I have 
multiple Zahara has multiple diaper bags and I just like to put all of my stuff in her diaper bag as well so that's why I like to really carry this one is like a nice size and it's like really cute and it doesn't look like diaper baggy ish it looks more like stylish you know it looks just like a, like a regular little backpack so yeah so number 29 essential is going to be pacifiers I was gifted these pacifiers off my registry from my friend Mallory auntie Mal hey Mal if you're watching they definitely are gonna want to get you some pacifiers Zahara didn't like her pacifier she's like not a pacifier sucker so I'm actually glad that I didn't go out and buy a bunch of pacifiers because she's just not a pacifier baby and your baby might not be a pacifier baby so most of the time babies do like pacifiers and these are good for teething as well Zahara uses the same type of pacifiers except hers is a wubbanub and they gave her this same type of pacifier at the hospital but I have bought her a wubbanub she really likes this one now that she's a little bit older because she can like play with the little animal so essential number 30 are going to be books and I have so many more books these are just like some of my favorite ones that me and Zahara like to read but you definitely want to get your baby some type of books fun fact I got these books right here super cute door hanger books from Dollar Tree literally I got these from the Dollar Tree somehow I ended up in the book section at the Dollar Tree and they had so many like mommy books and like baby books and I was like oh my god these are only a dollar so I got these and I used to read these to Zahara when she was in the womb and now we read them together which I love and she likes to like flip through them and look at the color she loves reading books like she loves reading time y'all like it's crazy like I never I didn't know she was gonna be like that she loves reading time so she really loves these books and then she also got gifted these books so this one she got gifted from her auntie jam um it is the brown bear brown bear what do you see book which I actually used to read when I was a kid so I put this on her registry and her auntie jam got it for her so thank you and my grandmother actually got her the Chicka Chicka Boom Boom book, which I also got on my registry. So thank you, Gigi. Again, it has a lot of big pictures. And if, if you guys remember these books from childhood, definitely put a raised hand in the comments below because these are some OG classic books. 31, um, you're gonna wanna get your baby some type of like storage cubicles. I ended up getting Zahara these like little storage cubicles. You can get them at Walmart. And I like to put all her like things that she's not using or like things like that I can just store her stuff in extra stuff in these little storage cubicles really nice and organized um, I have storage cubicles for myself as well but these are good for like in the nursery and then last but not least number 32 is of course some hangers I love the velvet hangers this is these are velvet tie hangers but these are great for baby like clothes as well you can use them for like her like her pants and stuff like that and then i also have these cute velvet pink hangers they look like this and so <laughs> honey what is going on over there so yeah and you see i have like one of her outfits on it and then i just put like the little bow right there and i also just have the plain little white hangers little baby hangers right here as well for all of her other clothes so yeah you guys that pretty much concludes my baby must-haves my newborn essentials for 2021 if you guys enjoyed it and you guys want me to do like a part two i will because i feel like i have a couple of other things essentials that i can probably show you guys i'm also going to be dropping a baby products video like what type of like skincare type of products that i use so if you guys want to see that definitely make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned and if you guys would like to to see like a postpartum video or like what I use as a mommy things that I use after birth so yeah definitely if you guys want to see that make sure you guys stay tuned peace <laughs>